Hey guys, Ostrich Vox here. A lot of big news today, and this is actually gonna be my second video today. I might put it on a third one. I don't really know yet. Tons of CV Universe news, and a lot of people are just gonna overlook it for what it is. But something I didn't get to touch on in my last video because it didn't get released until far into the uh, video's upload is that Card Network released an image of Pink Diamond's Pelican. This is the Pelican that was in a buddy's book. It had to be. And it's not blue diamonds because the texture is different, the ornament on top is different, it looks much like a flower. And well, it's pink. A lot of people were like, well, the shading, the lighting, no, it's pink. But I still could be wrong, but I highly doubt there would be a huge inconsistency with like the how it actually looks in this design. And it just makes sense for all the diamonds to have a pelican. I mean, they're going to different planets all the time. But I digress. A lot of people don't really realize it, but the press release and the image attached to it kind of confirms Jasper's Redemption. Now, this is not my own theory. There's nothing that I pointed out. A lot of people point this out since the summer, but now we have some like solid confirmation that this does mean something. And it all has to do with that flower. So how's it tie back to Jasper? Well, the San Diego Comic Con poster for this year had the gems and tuxedos, one of them being Jasper. And she had the same flower we've seen this press image on her tuxedo. What kind of flower is it? A hollyhock. So let me read this Tumblr post. And props to Daisy Dice because it seems like she was the first one to really uncover this. Everyone else just kind of built off of it, but it looks like she is the source for this theory, this little analysis. So if anything does happen and this ends up coming to fruition, this isn't a, oh, Vox was right thing. This is like more like the community was right thing because one poison part it out and people start building a pawn of it. I'm not trying to take credit for anyone else's theories. So the Tumblr post reads, that's a hollyhock on our lapel. And from what I can find, they symbolize ambition, fertility, rebirth, and healing. Apparently, the ancient Egyptians sometimes buried mummies with reefs of hollyhock as a symbol that they withstood the trial of death, welcoming them to a new life. Anyways, Jasper's definitely coming back, and this is beyond question. And well, we do know that Jasper will come back. She can't be corrupted forever. But how is this tied to the Pelican? Well, the synopsis for Steven's dream is a strange dream prompts Steven to search for answers. The press image of Pink Diamond's Pelican says it's time for answers. So what is Steven Strange's dream? Well, I believe for the very first time we're going to go into a mine of a corrupted gem, or like a gem in general, and that's going to be Jasper. Granted, Steven did go into Malachite subconscious, but this is the first time we'll see a singular gem, let alone a corrupted gem. I'm imagining in Jasper's mind, she still looks like herself. Maybe she looks like how she was when she was corrupted, but I doubt she looks like a dog. I'm sure she can still speak and talk in her mind. How does Steven end up in Jasper's subconscious? Maybe he just wanders in there. He seems like the kind of guy who just kind of wanders into dreams. He wandered into Kiki's. He, he wandered into Lars's mind. He wandered into Lapis and Jasper's fusion. Malachi, he's just a wanderer. In fact, I actually would not be surprised if Pink Diamond's Pelican and that flower still is actually from Steven's dream. That's how the episode opens up. That's one speculation I have right there. This could either be from later on in the episode or this is from Steven's dream. But regardless, Steven's dream is from entering Jasper's subconscious and we'll either see Pink Diamond for the very first time, maybe see her hand, her hair, like the back side of her. Maybe we won't see her hear her full face. We won't hear her full voice, but I do believe we'll see her to a certain extent. But something will happen in this dream that makes Steven wake up and say, okay, what about Pink Diamond? Are there any traces of her left on Earth? And well, and we know from the episode Buddy's book, he has seen the Pelican and he's gonna remember that. So anyone who caught Buddy book filler, please eat your heart out because we all knew that would come back into play later. So why is Pink Diamond's Pelican still on Earth? Well, my guess, and I'm assuming this is the most likely scenario, is Rose shattered Pink Diamond and her Pelican. And everyone freaked out and it just got abandoned. And I can see the Diamonds not wanting to take the Pelican back to Homeworld because, well, Pink Diamond died in it. Like, it's a symbol of defeat and loss, and Homeworld does not seem the kind of people to keep that around. It was just better off leaving on Earth. But how does this tie back to Jasper? Like I said, the flower, that still is definitely from the area that Pink Diamond's Pelican is in. Not only was this an early foreshadowing at Jasper being on Pink Diamond's court, but it was setting up that flower for its end canon debut later. This arc is definitely seeming to be centered around Pink Diamond and her court. And while I'm gonna make another video giving my predictions on the entire bomb, but I really am excited for this Pink Diamond arc. I can't wait for all the backstory and the answers we're gonna get. Perhaps we'll finally even see what's inside Lion's chest. But in terms of Jasper, if she does play a vocal role in this arc, and if it does end with her uncorruption, I can see her staying corrupted throughout most of this arc. Plus there's an episode called The Zoo. So by the off chance the gems do get captured by Homeworld, or high chance since the synopsis is kind of hint towards that, Homeworld would probably send Jasper to that zoo that they're referring to, quote unquote zoo. That just reminds me of the prism Jasper had in Earthlings for all the corrupted gems. So I doubt it's gonna be an actual zoo. But regardless, this sounds wild. And the best way for Jasper to get redeemed is to see things from both sides. So an adventure with the gems against Homeworld, learning about corruption, and maybe we have Yellow Diamond spit some tea on corruption, would definitely help that. 
Jasper can only be redeemed if she sees things through the other side. Because right now, she's still stuck in the ways of war, and I hope this arc serves as a way to give her closure on Pink Diamond. I really do. But that's all my ideas I have for this video. Like I said, I'm saving the bulk of things for my predictions video. But please, comment down below. Do you think we'll see Jasper's redemption in this arc? What do you think of Pink Diamond's Pelican? Leave any and all thoughts down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Follow me on social media. Links to everything in the description down below. Awestruck Vox, signing out.